Hello, welcome back to Kirk's Bees, home of Jack's Honey. Today, we are not in the bee yard. We are doing something completely different. I've never done it, that's okay. Uh, but I was out and about today, and I done found a beehive. Well, it turns out that it's in a city water meter. And uh, so I had to get make contact with the city because I know they're going to have to have it removed because they're going to be checking meters and stuff. I want to get it out of there. And, uh... Okay, let's just see what we got here. It's a small cluster. They're mainly just right around in here. They're not even really started very much. Oh yeah. Good size hive here. See if we can find her. I'm gonna probably frame up three these three center center combs here. If she's on it. She she may be on it. One of those. Here. Let's make sure it's right side up this time. Find a nest? Yeah. There's some honeybees. Still don't see the. It's right here. It's right here. I lost her. Where'd she go? I just saw the queen. I think she already marched down into the box, to be honest with you. I, but I did see her. I'm gonna spray this down with Honey Bee Gone, so that way they are not attracted to it. Be a 
fish. We'll replace this back over here. So Like I said, I do not want them to come back over here, so. And they're swarming. Hallelujah, look at that. We got the queen. Once you find the queen, things get easy. Or easier. So here's what we've got. They have they tried to flee because she got out of the out of the box there. They're a little bit everywhere, but the main cluster is just right here because this they they just swarmed. They're finding her in the in that clip with the tendons. And all they do is get start getting to march in. So that's what we're what the goal is right now. Let's get them to march in. Okay, they done found her. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her on into the box. They are running from me. Okay. Let's go take a look at what we got. What they did was they swarmed because they're still in swarm mode here. But I had the queen. So when I saw them going toward the top of this fence, I got the trash can here and I put the box up here and look at this now they think it's a good idea to go in the box <laughs> whereas before once the queen came out of there they were gone they came pouring out of there like mad so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let all these airborne bees 
figure out where she's at and they're all fanning which is another really good sign and uh, we're just gonna leave them there and let them uh, acclimate and or whatever you want to call it let them uh, get used to things still have some bees over here trying to get into the old hive so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape that off so they can't get in okay let's uh, check on these girls here uh, what we did was we moved them from over here where the trash can is back over here because you have foragers that were starting to that were still circling here and coming back here because they weren't here during the removal and uh, but but when uh, when all those foragers come back what's going to happen is they're going to come back they're going to see that they can't get in and they're going to get the pheromone from the queen that's inside the box what I did was I left the, the lid just cracked just enough so that way they have an entrance to come and go uh, and as the, the sun goes down those bees are actually going to go into that box and I certainly hope that this queen is a lot better behaved than the three at home because the other three at home keep messing with me and they have not been nice I only think it's fun to laugh at the beekeeper so hopefully this one will be able to be better well behaved and not pick on me as much although I highly doubt it I think they just have a, like a bee sense you know they, they, they just know but uh, what I did was I took a Swiffer pad temporarily to plug the old entrance to their hive on the underside of this of this meter so that way they can't go back in uh, I will come back later and put a little bit of steel wool in there and leave it hanging out so that way the guys who come to read the meters can get still get in and out uh, they're gonna come back and lock this up tomorrow so I'm gonna wait until after this is locked up uh, before I go back and try to put a little bit more permanent uh, uh, touch on that and well, you, well that was successful in the end it was successful I didn't think it was gonna go that way because things just didn't quite go as planned um, I couldn't find the queen at first and I know she went into the box the first time but that, that that's okay I know I had seen a glimpse of her right before that but I managed to get her to go in the top of the box apparently she decided to go out the other end <sighs> yeah and uh, she uh, they ended up swarming on me they they bugged out and uh, end up point went into the neighbor's driveway which the most of them stayed pretty much in flight they were kind of laying on, on the fence I didn't want them balling up especially inside somebody else's backyard um, that would have been a bad situation I'm, I'm real happy and that's gonna be a really good addition to uh, Kirk's Bees yard so uh, as long as the other two queens don't talk this one into doing things they shouldn't be doing again. So now we're up to four. Four hives. <laughs> two things are on the agenda. One, we're getting a bee back. <laughs> yeah, that's a, uh, we learned tonight, we're going to have to have that bee back. If I'd had the bee back, it would have been wrapped up in no time at all. I could have found her so much easier. But I didn't have the bee back, so we may do, did it, went old school, no bee back. Um, but I still got him, still got her. Until next time, be sure to like. That really, really helps the channel out, lets other people find me. Uh, be sure to subscribe, YouTube. Uh, really wants to know if uh, people are, are genuinely interested so be sure to subscribe and if you hit that little bell down there then you'll be notified whenever I put out more videos and I have a lot of videos to come out so how about the channel let me know comment 
ask questions. I'm totally good with it. I'm even, I'm even open to constructive criticism. So, until next time, thank you. And thank you for watching. I'm Don Kirk with Kirk's Bees, home of Jack's Honey.